Hello and welcome back to Big Bad Bard Plays The Witcher. So, uh, last time around we got real drunk at a party and uh, Declan Luvardin basically asked us to uh, investigate the Salamandra some more. Um, I'm going to start by talking to Jethro over in the Temple Quarter, but then after that we're going to have to go back to the Swamp and talk to Vasca, the Brickmaker's leader. We talked to her a little bit when we were looking for all those stones. Um, that'll kind of bring us back to this one a little bit, the the wanted quest, and then maybe along the way I'll run into Shani. I don't think I'm gonna... it says Shani should be home. I'm kind of hoping I can run into her at the hospital so I don't have to deal with Granny. And then also, some somewhere along the way, I'd kind of like to hopefully find uh, the, this, this girl who was bit, bitten by a vampire. Um, there was that silent knight, Patrick DeWazy, and we got him super drunk. Um, I walked out of New Nera Court. I was gonna run to the Temple Quarter, but I saw these guys Carol, and figured I should probably cheat. start recording. What's wrong, Taller? He's involved. The counterfeit royal edicts. But I thought... Where do you get the royal seal, you ball-licking bastard? Wow. How dare you accuse me, it's insulting. Mongrel. You believe the seal's fake? Clearly. If this is a royal edict, where's Folter's signature? <clears throat> Geralt, this is a provocation. The king need not sign every edict. The seal is authentic. You lie, DeWet. I can prove it and you'll hang. You can prove and we learn nothing. Taller is actually and like, live. Stay a out government of this, spy. Never. You not won't just take a criminal alive, fence. Bastards. Um... I don't know. I, I guess I should probably I'll hear both, both sides. sides. Let me talk to both of these guys, see what's going on before I jump to any crazy conclusions. Witcher, reveal yourself as an honest man or a coward. What do you want, DeWitt? Do you kind of want to side with the order? Taller. He refuses to abide by a royal edict. What edict? The royal edict bearing the very seal of our merciful ruler, Foltest, that strips him of his position. Oh. By the authority vested in me, etc., etc., Taller is hereby dismissed from his position as head of the Temerian Intelligence Service. And Taller objects? You're kidding. Mm -hmm. Yes. Show yourself a real patriot. Kill that pleb. Wow. Damn lies. The edict is a fake. This dickless, brainless, sellout zealot burns to see me eliminated. Silence, is that true? Scab. Yes, this man has you no dick. Hang, traitor. Geralt, bring me that Come pleb. on, they had a perfect setup for, uh... For a Ghostbusters joke there. Um, oh boy. I'll hear both sides. Let me let me talk that to Toller. See exactly what he be. has to say. I don't really want to kill both Make these dudes decision. in the middle of the street, but I feel like that's uh <sighs> I'll hear Hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna tell him that Toller wants. Like that that seems like the most peaceful resolution of this. Have you made your Yeah. Toller walks. Let him you let him leave. Regret this, Witcher. Just let him leave. It's not a huge deal. Like I don't think I need Thanks to kill help, him. Geralt. You best disappear for a while. Good idea. Just let him fuck off, speak you know? You. Later. I need to do something. Fine. Meet me at the new Narakord. Yo, you the wit. Get away with it. It's not I mean, come on. Okay, so I had a whole thing I was gonna do. Um Come see me. Let's do this on. instead. <laughs> That's kinda how this game ends up being sometimes. It's like, alright, I, I had a plan for this, and uh never mind. <laughs> Doing something else. Like the couple videos ago when I was like, alright, let's go to that party. Uh never mind. Dan Dandelion wants to get drunk with me and send me on a I don't know, he wants me to go get his loot. So I'll go do that for a whole twenty minutes. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to roll with the flow of the game. <sighs> Not a whole lot you can do about that. I mean, I could have ignored it. I could have just killed Toller and walked away, or, you know, let him live and walk away and gone off and done my own thing, but I'm, I'm right here. So, why wouldn't I? <laughs> I'm already right here. Oh, cutscene. Oh, Dandelion! Dandelion's playing! I forgot all about this! As a bard, I should respect him.
I'll give him some claps. Alright, so where is everybody? Taller, I would... Oh, okay, he's right over there. Where's Dandelion? I want to go talk to him. No, 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 don't run away. Hey, get back here. No, 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 no. Me don't run away either. Not hey. now, Geralt, please. Oh, really? Okay. I almost ran out of the door trying to click on him. Uh, I just walked past Taller. Here we go. We meet again, Witcher. Worked out that way, I guess. I suppose I should thank you for saving my ass. You're welcome. I'm still not sure it was smart to tangle with DeWitt. Of course it was, provided you have Temeria's well-being at heart. What do you mean? There's something afoot. You forget I'm a symbol Witcher. It's like this. Before the King departed, he placed Vizima in my care. See? Seems authentic. During my absence, I entrust you with... I know you can read, Witcher, but notice both the King's seal and his signature. I see. That isn't on the other edicts. A seal can be stolen, but a signature is difficult to forge. So the royal edicts are fakes? Exactly. Hmm. Hell Interesting. No, <laughs> that's all it says. I'll be glad to get back to my own business. Can we not Having problems, get more information you? about this? What's going on? Actually, yes. Sadly, my code of conduct forbids me from using my position for private benefit. Uh... So you refuse to help? <laughs> Wait a minute. What? What code? Wasn't he a Marching criminal business fence? Like, it, it, does that not count? <laughs> Alright. Um, let me see what journal entry popped up for that. Taller has a royal edict that appoints him caretaker of Azima. Okay. The document bears the king's signature and his seal. Looks like the unsigned edicts are, in fact, forged. Okay, so it just says keep your eyes open, see how things develop. So, we'll come back to that later, I suppose. As for now, I should probably make my way over to the temple quarter. Let's find Jethro there. I've got some fist tech in my inventory. Uh, I think I jacked some from the detective back when we were still on speaking terms with him. Before he <laughs> revealed himself to be Azar Javid. Which was, um... A little unexpected, except for right at the end there. <laughs> I mean, towards the end when he was accusing Ramsmead, which I still feel really guilty about. Um, you know, he's accusing Ramsmead and Kalkstein and all these other people that we had already cleared. Um, whoa, there's something bad happening. Wow, and there's a monster over here? What? Okay, I was not expecting this. Excuse me, I'm just getting my ass kicked over here. Let me run away for a sec. Alright, let's go. I just could not get an attack off, they were all just kind of stun locking me. Also, I don't like that that monster spouted what appeared to be poison everywhere. Is that a Kikimora? I believe so. In which case, we need some claws off of it. There we go. Just a couple left. Okay, seriously though. Like, I'm just gonna... It's gonna be faster if I kill him one at a time, I think. It is a key more. Nice. I am quite low on health, though. That's a little sketchy. Oh, oh, let me run away for a second. Um, hmm, what should I do here? Set them all on fire? Maybe I should set them all on fire. <laughs> oh, way too fast on that one. Oh, boy. Geralt, no, don't die, buddy. Oh, my gosh. This is, like, extra bad, huh? Um, hold on. Let me see. Maybe... I think I'm actually done with all the human enemies. Oh, but I see another Kikimor right there. I'm trying to open the inventory. Um, okay, I should have... That increases vitality regeneration. It's gonna have to do. And I'll just have to run away for a moment while my health slowly triples back up. Oh boy. Um, oh, I do actually still have a human assailant. Or, uh, 
At least non monster. I don't know if he's human or like. Oh, he's human, I'm sure. Salamandra, I doubt they employ non humans. Like, you know, whatever, whoever would join the Scoyatel. Oh my god, I thought there was another, another dude. Oh, okay. I was wrong, there is. There's another, another dude, and another, another, another dude. However many I'm on. Okay, I need to. I need to group attack these guys. I was not expecting all this combat, honestly. I thought this was gonna be mostly a uh, run around talking to people sort of episode. <laughs> first things first, I'm like encountered with kill this motherfucker, and then as soon as I get that settled, okay, kill all of these dudes, and I'm kind of forced into that one. All right, all right, all right. Wow. Got quite a few, yeah, kicky more claws. Uh, got quite a few corpses to go around and loot. Pan into the oven, then the fire, and now a witcher. That was, I mean, for such an unexpected fight, that was pretty intense. Had four kicky mores and like four or five salamanders. Jeez. Straight up assassins. Yeah, we'll just take all of that. Anything I can. I don't like that noise I just heard. And I'm pretty sure I just saw an enemy over there. There is one. Okay. Thought so. Uh, Witcher. You wanna pull out your sword, maybe? Oh, I just killed that dude! What? <laughs> what? Okay, that seemed... Unnecessary. Oh shit, and there's more salamanders over there. It looks like the they're fighting some order dudes, so I don't think I need to worry about them. I'm just gonna let the Order of the Flaming Rose do their job. I'm just a simple witcher. I'll fight the monsters. What is that? Trachea. Ugh. Alright. Uh one of the assassins lost his knife all the way over there. I wonder if I could have just run and found some order knights before I did anything. Like, before I fought any of those dudes. Also, I don't know if you guys saw, but that Kikimor just came straight out of the ground. It just crawled out of the dirt. So, who knows how many more of these are gonna spawn over here. Right now, that looks like all of them, but a minute ago, that looked like all of them, too. Whew. Some intense fighting. Kikimors, I need a total of 10 claws. Oh boy. It's gonna take a minute. Okay, sure. Let me loot this guy. It's probably his axe. Okay, nothing on that body. Tamerium Battle Flail. That sounds kinda cool. Uh, there's a couple more remains over here that I'll check. No, I don't want to talk to the drunk guy. I'm sure he doesn't have anything super helpful to tell me. Oh, wrong. Uh, must have double tapped that. Wow, there was a whole fight over here, huh? Yo, Footman, what happened? The eternal fire. Oh, okay, that's super helpful. Alright, I'll loot this corpse and then go along my way. Oh, he's got some drugs on him. Ooh. I'm telling. It's the Maribor Gate? That is not where I want to go. Um, let me let me track this on my map so I can maybe figure out where I'm going. Which gate do they want me to go to? This one way over here. So let me spin around, um, then basically my second left and go straight. All right. So I know that takes me to New Naracourt, not where I'm going second left. So that'll be right here. Well, left here. Okay. Yeah, that was a much bloodier... much bloodier episode than I was anticipating. That's for sure. I hear more Kikimors. Yeah, I'm gonna fight it. Probably should. 
for no other reason than for the uh, for the claws. Any other enemies out here before I put my sword away? No, we're good. Okay. Oh, there's the night house. I do have a ring to get a discount over there, but that might just be saved for another day. I think we've got enough going on. I keep hitting transfer all and then escape. Did I miss a turn? Miss do a turn? I did. Where am I going? Nowhere help. Actually, the cemetery gate is pretty helpful to where I'm going. That oh, no, no, no. I, I do want the other gate, the one next to the guards. Although the cemetery, I'm sure, would be full of monsters at this hour. What time is it? Eh, a little after midnight? Yeah. Come on, hit him. Okay, I'm just gonna... Maybe I'll just let the order deal with these guys. Seems effective enough. Oh, I'm just hitting all sorts of wrong buttons on my keyboard today. Alright, Kiki. Duty calls. How close am I on this? I need 10. How many do I have? This is number 9. Alright. So one more Kiki more. I'm sure that won't take too long. Uh, oh no no no. I, I'm still going the wrong way. But yeah. One more Kiki more. Here it is. Alright, anything beyond this I'll just run away from. I'll let the order do their jobs. Couple more hits. Who am I supposed to talk to about this contract? That's something I'm not sure of. Whoever it is, I'm, I'm sure I'll run into them, though. Looking up here, I'm pretty close to another level up. So that's kind of nice. Velarad. Velarad. Who the hell is Velarad? I'll check in, in a little bit. Velarad. Why do I know that name? That was one of the dudes I got drunk with at the party? Maybe? Velarad. <sighs> I'm sure I'll figure out who it was. Right now, though, I need to look into this salamandra nonsense. These dudes are clearly just a plague on the city and the entirety of Temeria. So, the sooner we deal with them, the the better off we'll be. I like this load screen. This might have been what let me know about this uh, statue here, right by the sewer gate. Because there was the thing for Triss, where she wanted us to put the little magical sensors everywhere, and I saw the first one, and then I was like, oh, I've seen one of those before. I knew she said something about next to the sewer. And so, of course, I knew, oh, yeah, this is, this is what I was looking for looked very similar to the other one that I had already found. But yeah. So far, this episode has been uh, not so bad. I almost died for... I, I was going to say for the first time in the series, and, that, and then I remembered the whole thing with the, the golem in the swamp. <laughs> so I really can't say that it would have been for the first time. Certainly not. Okay, I am over by all the guards, so I should just need to run into the dungeon. Maybe give Jethro a couple of hits in the fist, that fizzy stuff. And just let him talk. I don't know that Salamandra has something to do with the fist tech trade, um, but we know that as our job ed uses it, a lot of the salamanders have it on them. So maybe it's just like, you know, Nazis you? using meth to be better at we must horrible shit. About I don't know. What? You won't toss me into the sewers again. <laughs> this is how it works. I describe a job. If you refuse, it's the dungeon for you. Really? Like to gamble? I do. Gamble? I'm thinking like it I keeps them up. That's what the detective was talking about. Again. A little edgy today, are we? Listen. I know the people with the Salamander badge have long been after you. <laughs> I know where they can be found. 
Deal with them, and your problems are over. And, in the process, you'll help me out, too. That's How literally about? exactly why I came here. <laughs> see. Literally Tell exactly why. Mean. Salamandra has nearly taken control of the drug Okay, trade. they do control the if drugs. No one That's what I thought. Them, Why should I care? They're after you. Destroy them. Take the information you need and return here. Oh, and gather any drugs you find as evidence. Right. Where do I begin? An informer spoke of a dealer called Angus who holds some powder. He works in the slums. We must know where he gets his goods. He's often at the tavern. Okay. Um, ask Angus about his suppliers, huh? Okay. So, so far we have, just as, a, as kind of a quick recap, uh, intervened in Count DeWitt, or Count DeWitt and Toller's uh, little confrontation. We're pretty sure that DeWitt is... Forging edicts, or at least enforcing forged edicts from the king, which sounds pretty illegal. There's Toller's house. I'm not even going to bother him. Um, you know what, though? I should maybe go talk to Shawnee while we're over here. Um, so anyways, we've learned a little bit about, about that, the fake edicts. We know that Toller was told by the king, hey, check it, you know, watch out for... Vizima, keep care of, you know, take care of this for me. I don't know why I can't talk today. Take care of this city for me. And now, uh, someone else is trying to, it looks like, unseat Toller. Uh, getting a little more info on the Salamandra. We know they're not afraid to just attack out in the open, although they never have been. I've been struck outside Shawnee's house several times. And then, oh, I don't even have to deal with Granny. That's helpful. Although I'm sure Shawnee's gonna chew me out for the whole thing with Alvin. Um, but yeah, now we know God? that Salamandra is definitely in full swing of the drug trade, and we're trying to get some more info on that. I left the boy with Triss to keep him safe. Let's see what Shawnee. How could you? She has a spell Ooh, on yeah, you. She mad. Out of my sight! I will forget your very name. Wow! Whoa! She is pissed. I knew she wasn't gonna be happy. Also. She's sleeping in this bed wrong. That's weird. She should definitely have her what head at the other here? end. Paying a visit. You're not welcome here. Damn. Go back to your sorceress. Damn. Straight up told to leave. All right. I'm probably gonna get chewed out by Granny on my way out too. No? Is Granny even here? Did Shawnee kill Granny? Oh. Shawnee, no. What did you do? I'm gonna rob the old lady, so who am I to talk? Okay, I'm not gonna rob her. She's got nothing. <laughs> Maybe there's other stuff in some of these other boxes and bins, but... Nah, if her big crate only had, like, a bun and some dried fruit... Okay, I'll leave the old lady her food. Okay, so... I guess it's time to go check out the tavern... Sorry, I was like in the middle of a recap. Um, no, 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 I, I kind of finished it. We know about the drug trade. Just need to get more information on where they're making it, and we could probably just head over there and wipe it out. I know that, obviously, there's something still going on in the swamp. Maybe our investigation will take us back out there naturally, instead of needing to make several trips back and forth. Because that can be time-consuming. But for now, I'm just going to head on over to the slum area. Did I go the wrong way? No, 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 it's over here. And try to find this Angus fella. Angus or Agnes? I wasn't paying that much attention. Anyways, that is going to be it for this episode. If you liked it, go ahead, click the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications so you get the heads up every time I post a new video. And hit me up in the comment section down below that will likely get you a response. Uh, just, uh, you know, give me some feedback. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, but for now, that's going to be it. So just have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, and next time around, we'll, we'll go in here and talk to Angus and see what's going on with all this salamander business.
But yeah, have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.